It's our new media peeps and viewers around the world, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the founder and owner of Conservative New Media. Now, I have, uh, I don't know, a request, I guess, and something that I just want to sort of get off my chest, if you will. And that is, as the whole 2012 presidential election cycle seems to be starting up in earnest, if you will, I really hope, now I know this might be like, you know, uh, spinning into the wind, if you will, but I really hope that we can do it this whole 2012 presidential election season without the nasty partisanship and personal attacks that I'm worried may possibly be coming down the pike here. Now, first of all, it's all my personal opinion, not alleging facts, not casting spurs, and all for entertainment, parody purpose. Only check the disclaimers. Why do I say that? Oh, don't be negative, JDB. No, I'm not trying to be negative. I, I'm actually very positive, right? And that's one of the reasons why I want to do this thing. Well, there's been some that are out there that have, uh, have said that this might be one of the nastiest campaigns and this is going to be a tough campaign and this and that, whatever. And I remember just some of the things that have been going on in the last several years. And it's just like, here's the deal. I'm not casting blame, pointing fingers, or anything like that. Um, my feeling is this. If you like and support Obama, great. Say why you support him. Or say why you support the Democrats. Or this person, or that candidate, or whatever. You know? doesn't have to be that, you know, Sarah Palin's this negative thing, or that person's this negative thing, or these evil, you know, bad Republicans, this and that, whatever, I mean, you know, or, you know, let's make a thousand jokes about people. Look, it's fine, part is whatever, people are free speech, they can, you can say whatever you want, you know that, but I'm just saying, like, if you think that the Democrats' plan and or President Obama is so great, or you voted for uh, him or them before and you want to vote for him and them again, fine, make your case. This is, I think President Obama has done a great job with X, Y, Z. Do that. That's, that's, that's fine. Whatever you want. Whatever you think that might be. You know, whatever that is. Make that case. Flip side, those that want to support you know, conservative or Republican or GOP candidate X, whoever that is, say, hey, this is why I support candidate X. I'm just tired of seeing these things where they're, you know, um, you know, if you support this candidate, oh, you're the worst person ever. If you don't support this candidate, you're the worst person ever. You know, and it's like, that's like, look, probably about, 80% of my family are liberals. I still love them. I still hang out with them, all that type of stuff, whatever. I don't take politics personally. I think that the, the discourse has become so toxic. Now, let's not get this twisted. I'm not talking about not being partisan in terms of making your case. You can say, hey, I think that the Democratic plan is horrible, and this is why. I think that the Republican, Republican plan is horrible and this is why. Or I think it's great and this is why. But make that case. For me it's very simple. I'm all for lower taxes, lower regulation, uh, more freedom, more liberty, you know, giving people and individuals empowerment and whatnot, uh, and smart, efficient, you know, good government. That's pretty much where I come from on all the things. And I want to have people in there that really, you know, represent people, you know, their constituents well and are responsive to them and just want to do a good job. So I want to know what you think about that. Said a lot of different things here. But the main thing is, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me that you're tired of the personal, nasty personal attack, partisanship stuff, and that you want to see this thing done a different way and taken to a different level, a friendlier level, 
still be, you can still have your point of view and argue as strongly as you want, you know? And, and there will be, of course, there will be jokes and that, whatever, but, but, you know, a friendly level, and don't you want to see people, like, like, not negatively branding one side or the other just because of what you might believe on this issue or who you might vote for, this and that, whatever? And don't, and don't you want to see people sort of, if you will, getting along, whatever, you can, again, you can disagree, you can hash that out, but do it in, in a more civil way. You know what I mean? So I'm saying something in a way that I believe, my personal opinion, is very different than what others might have called for in this civility thing, whatever like that. You know, that I'm not saying you can't be aggressive and, and strongly argue your point and believe and be partisan, but in that way, but make the case on the facts and not the personalities and don't, you know, walk away not liking someone because of this and that way, anyway, whatever. I mean, I've always believed that if you were right, if you had the facts and logic on your side, or you believe, or your point was the, was the correct one, what are you worried about? Make the case. People, I, I trust the audience to be smart, you know, I trust people to, to know a lot of things out there. If you can make the case, and your side is right, then people should agree with you. It's not that hard. Or maybe you didn't explain it the right way. Whatever. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. What do you think? Would you like to see things on a friendlier, sort of happier note, if you will, uh, with less partisan, personal, nasty attacks? And do you think that will happen? And how do we get it to happen? You tell me what's up. Comments below, subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal, and you're watching Conservative New Media.